Hi, my Pisces love, spiritual Barbie here. Welcome back, December 2020, love and romance focus reading. Don't forget to like the video. Make sure you give this video a quick like, all right? It benefits you. Don't keep it, oh, it doesn't, I don't know why it doesn't resonate with me. But you don't like my shit? <laughs> yeah, so go ahead and like the video, all right? And then comment at your earliest convenience. And be sure to subscribe as well to the channel and hit the bell so you'll be notified as soon as I upload because there'll be a lot more activity on this channel in the coming days and weeks. All right, so Pisces, my home split biscuits. All right, you guys are the second in line. You guys are second most views. You guys are the second most engagement um, for, the, for the month of November. So you guys get your stuff first. That's just what it is. That's another blessing from like, Engage. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know what's stopping you, but whatever. All right. So um, we're going to start with these Oracle cards and this is a romance Oracle deck. So let's get some messages for you and your person from spirit. Just advice. I love Oracle energies. They have a way of soothing the reading down. <laughs> like it's like a rash. All right. So we have the four, right? You are limitless. You can do anything that you choose, Pisces. I really feel like um, you can do whatever you want in love. And I feel like um, some of you guys, Aries said they had the same thing. I feel like some of you guys, and also Scorpio, a little bit of Scorpio. I didn't do Scorpio's reading yet, but I was guided to like do a pre-read for Scorpio and they had your limitless as well. So I really feel like there's some expansion that's happening in love where you may feel like in the past like you were limited to certain love options or suitors, whereas now you're realizing that you are limitless. And that's why, like, honestly, like, I don't want to get upset. Like, some people say the dumbest things to people who are in relationships. You know, like, people say the dumbest things about people's relationships or just um, about people's choices in love. They say the dumbest things. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, or, like, ex-partners you know and they're just like it's com they're completely just projecting their garbage on you and they're so unawakened and so unaware they don't even know and it's really pathetic but I really feel like in the past you felt like you had to limit yourself and now spirit's telling you for whatever reason or the other because of something that's happening in December 2020 I mean it could be happening before you get to December 2020 it could be happening just in the beginning of December 2020 or it could be happening sometime in it right you are going to be called to be limitless and go ahead and do that because you deserve it all right so we have relationship patterns it takes strength to recognize the need for change so I feel like this is a message for the two of you guys, right? In this connection, I feel like the both of you guys, you know, you both need to break out of certain karmic patterns in this connection that have been holding the connection up. And I see you guys are doing it, but I also feel like that is the reason why you're getting this energy of limitlessness because embracing this limitlessness will actually break you out of toxic relationship patterns. I'm hearing karmic relationship patterns that um, keep your relationship stifled and stuck or your love life stifled and stuck. Okay. So we, we also have number 11, right? Look to your inner strength. Pisces, this is very interesting. You're stronger than you realize. Pisces, oh my gosh. Oh, I'm not even gonna speak too much. And Spirit's like, get a card. I'll get a card. Thanks, Spirit. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's, I want a tarot card on the You Are Limitless energy, number 11, to understand that a little better. So we have the, strength energy strength again you are str wow you guys need strength for something and then page of pentacles you need the strength to see potential in your abundance and your potential in moving on from something right moving it could be moving away from family or moving on from family or something like that something that happened in family something that happened in a group of people that are like family they may not actually be your family members but it may be a group of people who are like family so like maybe a group of friends who are like you know, you guys are super close. Like I know I was in a sorority, so like we're I wasn't, I'm not I'm not affiliated with that sorority anymore. But um I it felt like another family. You know what I mean? It felt like a family away from family, you know what I mean? Because you get very close with these group of women and you do pretty much everything together. It's like family. And I feel like you guys are realizing that you need to move away from these people or move away from these things in some way, shape, or form, not fully for most people. Obviously, everybody's not like doomsday in it and deading everybody, right? That's not, but you know, you may be doomsdaying it and deading a couple people and that's just what it is. You know what I mean? That's just what it is, right? So, um, boom. 
Um, you, you need to see the strength in your potential, right? You need to have strength to see your potential and see the potential in a new beginning in love, right? I feel like your relationship calls for you to walk away from things that limit you, right? This connection, your love life, it, it's, it's ascending because you're, you're being called and you are listening to the guidance that's calling you to walk away from things that limit you, okay? And also I'm hearing your potential, like you need to see the strength you need to have the strength to see your potential and to see your worth. You know what I mean? Like to see the worth. I mean, I mean, you're not going to fully, you're not, it's not a full blown queen, right? Something, something, maybe some of you guys are kid. There could be a kid um, in your life that you may need to make a decision when it comes to love, like based on your kid right? Based on what the future you hold for your children or for your children's children, right? You need to think about that. Like, what do you want your kids to have? Do you want them to, what? It's up to you, right? And it's like, what do you want them to have? Now, a lot of you guys also, I feel like this page of pentacles, it could be signifying the connection that you're in, right? Where your connection is okay so all right so um so where the connection is um the connection is growing or it's kind of like it's there's a new phase in which it's reaching now where it's kind of getting to a, a coming very 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 real and um you need to have the strength to do that you know the strength to do something well you're probably going to show up in the tarot cards a spread so let me move forward. I don't know if I want to put these cards back. I'm going to leave them out for now. And then if anything, I'll just oh, take them back later. So let's have a look at how you're feeling. Actually, Spirit says start with this person. So how is your person viewing you or viewing the connect and viewing the connection and feeling about you and feeling about the connection? Um, also themselves, I guess, but I want to know about how they're feeling about you. So but we have the Six of Swords. They know that they need to move on from certain bad things, right? Last month, we were talking about trauma and crazy people, right? At least some signs. I know definitely Libra had some crazy people. Sag did too. Whoa, Sag has a lot of smoke around them. Um, and then someone else did. I think Aquarius. No, not, not really Aquarius, but kind of Aquarius, right? But I really feel like um, Pisces, this person, they could be one of those signs, right? That they, it was really tough for them. And now they're moving away from that Pisces. And they're by force like moving away from it you know it's not something like naturally they're used to just going back and forth and because i'm hearing like it's an abusive cycle like this person was an abusive dynamic it is an abusive dynamic that this person's in and so usually when you're in an abusive dynamic you kind of go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and um it's hard for you to walk away from either those thoughts, those defeat, those defeated beliefs, those harsh experiences that come what often come with abuse. It's hard for you to move away from that, you know? And so like, it's important to have compassion for this person, especially if you love them, right? Because they're mirroring you. So um, they're having all, they were having a hard time moving away from that. I'm seeing the five of swords, like where it was like, it was all fun and games and all of a sudden, boom, like you scratch me. Now I'm bleeding. Like what's going on, you know? And I really feel like that was what this person went through before, or that's what they were they were coming out of and they it was hard for them to move on it's just really hard to move on from something sometimes you know it really is like and you know it pisces you know it's hard to move on sometimes right if anybody gets it it's the high priestess pisces is the sign of the high priestess. i don't know nobody says yeah i need to stop with that nonsense pisces is the sign of high priestess sit the fuck down all right it's pisces it's not even cancer it might be scorpio sometimes but it's Pisces, all right? Pisces is a high priest, is my love. Tarot 101, all right? So um, Six of Swords, and you could quote me on that. All right, so Six of Swords, we have... Um, <laughs> We have, this person, we have this person moving away from whatever it was that was bad and moving towards you, the full reverse. So this is really beautiful. I really feel like this person, this is a really scary decision for them to make, Pisces. Like, it's really scary for them to walk away from something or to move away from something or to do something different or to do whatever it is that they're going to be doing in December. This is extremely hard for them. It may be nothing to you, but I feel like a lot of you guys, this isn't nothing to you either. Like, you understand the situation. Like, I don't have to tell you to have compassion for this person because you already you have a lot of compassion for this person and their situation and you're already extremely patient so 
I don't feel like that's the case, but I really feel like this is really hard for this person to move towards you. And I notice how all these cards are pointing towards your side of the story. So they're really wanting to move towards you and, and they're, they're really doing the mental work of like leaving behind that tough stuff by force. They're, they're, they're doing the hard work of doing it, right? It's hard for them. I just really feel like it's difficult. And it's just hard for them to walk away from just tough experiences, the five of swords. It's just really hard for them. This was very difficult. They went through something so hard, Pisces. And I'm not saying that you didn't go through hard things too. You did. You did. And we didn't pull your cards yet. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just be quiet over here. You know what I'm saying? But like, they really went through something so crazy. Like it really, really hard, right? And they're moving away from it. And I'm hearing it's for you. I mean, the Ace of Swords, you are the muse that is making them want to walk away from this. It feels like it's a bad dynamic. It's a bad living situation. It's a bad thought process. It's bad friends. It's people who spew this Five of Swords nonsense who don't realize how fucking toxic they are. I'm trying not to curse on YouTube, you guys. But they don't realize how toxic they are. And they're just, just out here being toxic and not getting any healing and spreading that toxic stuff. So I want to see what's going on with you, but I want to use this deck, right? All right, so this card wanted to pop out, the Hierophant. So how are you feeling towards this person and towards this connection? I also feel like there were some things that happened in this connection that were extremely difficult for this person to deal with. Like maybe they had a lot of arguments. It was a lot of fighting. Um, maybe you guys fought. Maybe you said certain things. Maybe they said certain things and something stuck. Something's really stung. But I don't really, I feel like for a lot of you guys, if you guys knew each other for a long time, then maybe that could be the case. But for a lot of you guys, if you guys only knew each other for a couple of years, like this is not you. It's not you. This was like something that happened before they even met you, right? So what's going on with you, Pisces? You're the lovers. The lovers reverse, but I read reverses a little differently. I read based on what my guides tell me to read. And so with the lovers showing up here, I really feel like you're in the same situation as them. We have the six of swords and the lovers, which is the major arcana number six. So you guys are both in your heart space and you're both very materially grounded. And so you're getting to a place where you realize you need to follow your heart. Like, you need to go after what your heart is saying. Like, enough is enough. Enough is enough with suppressing what you feel. Enough is enough of, of denying yourself what, you, what is truly yours, what you truly deserve. Enough is enough. You guys are magical enough. You guys are really good manifestors as it is. You're the nine of cups. Pisces is the nine of cups, right? And so is Cancer, right? Scorpio too. But Scorpio is more the queen of cups, right? And the eight of cups. But... You guys are the nine of cups. And I really feel like this person, you are realizing that you need to really follow your heart. I don't know what this is around. It's around the 10 of cups reversed. So it's around choosing your happiness, not your unhappiness. And seeing the happiness in the situation. I feel like you guys have not had a happy time emotionally. Like whatever it is that you're coming from, like the both, two of you guys marry each other, twin flames, twin flames. Uh, 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 ace of swords uh, 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 uh. twin flames right so um you guys are both twin flames so that's just what it is um it literally it you literally guys are mirroring me like honestly i'm gonna turn off my computer and go to bed like this is ridiculous but um this is amazing it's amazing so um i feel like you both had like really tough situations i'm hearing family like that it wasn't really perfect you know like there were happy things but you have you had a hard time seeing the positive because maybe it was some really toxic people in your environment you know what i mean growing up and coming up and that was your foundation and so you just kind of got attached to unhappiness and you got attached to not following your heart because you if you watch your mother and your father not follow their heart you're gonna go and follow your heart without like something some divine intervention happening that kind of forces you out of that space no, you're going to keep following in the footsteps of your mother and your father. So it's not your fault. And it's not this person's fault either. I feel like this person had a tough start too when they were younger. Maybe they're really a lot older now, but when they were younger, they had a very difficult experience. I'm hearing, I don't want to talk about that though, not on YouTube, but it was a lot of um, unfair things that happened to this person or maybe one really unfair thing that happened to them that is so hard for them to move past because it was such a major betrayal. It was such a fucking betrayal. It was such an insult. You know what I mean? Something really, really crazy happened to them. And I feel like Pisces, you're gonna find out what this is. You are. 
and it's going to shock you. It's going to shock you. A lot of your Pisces are dealing with another Pisces though, right? Or you're dealing with another Pisces that is um, a person who's like Pisces, maybe your Pisces son, this person's like Pisces Venus or Pisces Mars, right? But you guys both super duper mirror. It's, it's freaky how much you guys are mirroring each other. It's ridiculous, man. The cards are joking me right now, right? But in the best way. All right, so boom. I see like in the month of December, a major judgment happening that's causing like moving in, right? Uh, a moving away from drama, but also a moving in, right? Um, and it's going to be different for all of you guys. Some of you guys, it's going to mean one thing. A lot of, a lot of you, others of you guys, it's going to mean something else, right? And um, this is really beautiful, but it has to, you have to walk away from certain things. That's just what it is. And I feel like in December, maybe in October, in November, you weren't ready to walk away from whatever this is, but in December, you're going to be ready to walk away from it and you're going to happily walk away from it. And you're going to do it with a lot of joy in your heart. Okay. So they're going to unveil something to you. It's going to shock you. It really is what they tell you. And um, you could also, you could also be the one unveiling something to this person and it's going to shock the crap out of them. And they're really going to understand. It's going to help them put the pieces together. I'm hearing about last year. So if something happened last year and you didn't tell them, oh my God, that's what the page of pentacles is. All right. If something happened last year and you didn't tell them about it telling them about whatever this is will shock the crap out of them. And it will really, I'm hearing it's going to put them in that space that they need to be in to take action because they're going to realize I'm hearing you in danger, baby. That's what I'm hearing. But in the funniest way, they're going to realize that you were really actually physically in a lot of danger in some, in some place in your life or at some point in your life. And this person wants to protect you fully hundred percent. They want to protect you. That's it. Like they don't want you being stressed. They don't want nobody trying you. They don't want to be playing games with you. They don't want that. Right. And they're definitely a very protected type of person. I wouldn't be surprised if the emperor showed up for this person. So I want to know more about you, Pisces, and then when it comes to this connection. Fertility or the empress. Um, I really feel like this connection is really forcing you this month to step into your own and step into your, your full worth. You know what I mean? Like some of you guys, right? You know your worth and you know your beauty and you know like it's certain things you're not going to stand for. And like, that's just what it is. Like we're not even going to talk about that. Like boom, right? But I also feel like there's some of you guys, like there's certain things that you shouldn't stand for that maybe in the past you stood for, you stood, you took up with or you like dealt with for a little longer than you should have. Low key, high key. You know what I mean? And now you're really getting expansion and growth from doing that. Like you're realizing like, yo, I really shouldn't put myself through that. You know what I mean? Like, and I feel like this connection is forcing you to do that. The seven of swords. And it could be like certain ways in which you have been deceiving yourself mentally, but it could also be in which how others have deceived you and how, because others, ah. <laughs> because of how others have deceived you, you have started deceiving yourself in some way or hiding certain things from yourself. All right. Wow. Okay. So this fertility energy is a little interesting. I don't understand it fully. The Empress energy reverse. Maybe ways in which you are blocking yourself from receiving the Hierophant, right? And it's not letting yourself receive through really difficult experiences. A lot of times we have really difficult experiences and it's after the most crazy things that you see the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Facts. Facts. Because it's always after those really crazy situations that we learn the toughest lessons that we get real abundance now. You know? I feel like there was something that may have happened that it was, it was more like a Five of Swords thing. You know what I mean? It was very tough. And, it, and you, you suffered a loss and you had a hard time seeing what that loss really brought you. And because you couldn't see what that loss really brought you, you couldn't, um, you couldn't um, grow from it. But now you are, now you are, okay? So you're concluding that cycle and you're surrendering to it and you're allowing yourself to expand as a result. Pisces what yes i'm gonna say it again Five, please love you guys so much all right so let's have a look at this person how they're feeling towards the connection towards you more about that the firm foundation is reversed they need to create a firm foundation and they know this like you don't need to tell this person i feel like you're not dealing with somebody you need to tell over and over again so if you have a tendency of being like nah, 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 you don't need to do that with them in fact it might even annoy them um 
Not that they would ever snap on you though, because they understand that that's just how you are, but you don't need to tell them that they need to build a firm foundation. This person knows that they need to build a firm foundation. You know what I mean? Like they know, right? They just probably were not able to, or like whatever other BS was going on that was in the way, but now it's not in the way anymore. Because now they're building a firm foundation for the two of you, right? And in whichever way, shape or form, this also is characterized by healing. Like you can't really build a foundation of a house in some sinking soil. The house is gonna sink you know so like they're they're focused on the foundation this is very emperor like energy whether it's a male or a female they're in emperor energy and so they're doing the ground work right they're laying that foundation and sometimes the foundation is like i just need healing i need to have faith and spirits forcing them right for a lot of you guys this person has already done a lot of the healing but spirits giving them that hope and that faith that they need to go ahead and start building actually right to start working on stuff to start solidifying things right wow this person is moving through a lot we have the three of pentacles they're wanting to you know partner up with you and i'm also hearing that they're checking their alliances as well so their alliances they are realizing that some alliances that they have pisces are no bueno for the connection like some friends that they have, some relationships that they have with people, they're not, they're hindering the connection or they're just gonna come in and like keep thwarting every single attempt that the two of you guys make to move forward. And it's on this person's side, right? And they know that they need to remove these people out of you guys' life if you wanna have a very happy, loving connection. In the month of December, we have patience and planning. So you're seeing some of the results of the patience and planning that you guys have been doing. But I also do think that this relationship does require a little bit more patience. You know what I mean? A little bit more patience and planning to get to where it is that you, that you guys may really want to go. Right. But it, and it's on this person's side, like they're the ones who are doing this, like kind of like energy of kind of taking stock why are they doing this because they feel defeated right and they want to they're taking a look into that conflict and defeat that they have been overcoming and so they're learning the lessons from it it's important for someone to be in this five of swords energy all right because even if it's not necessarily like it's moving things forward physically it's actually good because it's actually good because they're actually like processing stuff. At least they're dealing with those emotions. At least that they're aware that those emotions are there. You know, a lot of times we're not even aware of stuff that's going on around us and within us. So that's good. All right. So I want to see if there's anything more that spirit has to tell me about this connection. And we have the sun, right? And like spirit is like, you need to be hopeful. Like whether you see the sun reversed or upright, it's still an amazing card. It's still the best card in the deck, whether it's upright or reversed, because it, it either means very soon you will be very happy, or it means that um, there's happiness around you right now that you don't see yet, but you will see soon. There is something manifesting in this connection that you have always wanted. Like since probably the day you met them, this is what you wanted, right? And it's getting there and you're getting that. It's so freaking close. It's so close, right? And um, that's the message. That's the last message spirit has for you. It's so close. Like whatever it is that you're wanting this person to do, whatever it is that you're wanting in this connection, it is so close. But there's things that you need to walk away from, okay? Throw chakra and the um, hermit energy, right? So there's things that you need to walk away from. Give me a second. Okay, so Spirit is saying withdraw from communicating about um, certain things that are very troubling or upsetting because anything that's bothering you right now in your love life or even if it's within this connection or it's outside or around the connection, which I think most of you guys in, the, in this connection, it's everything's great. It's very balanced. You're very happy with it. But maybe outside and around the connection, there's certain things that trouble you that may, that may make you feel troubled when it comes to like where this is going, how could you make it work? And Spirit's saying withdraw from even communicating about that because Spirit is fixing it right now. Right now, there's a lot of like magic going on in your lives that's really rearranging things and making things the way that it need to be so you guys can move forward. This connection is so beautiful. Once again, I mean, um, you're seeing this connection as a soulmate connection. You're finally 
coming out of the parts of you that have kept you suppressed, stuck, trapped, and you're expanding more, embracing yourself more, which is absolutely stunning. It's amazing. And this person, they're moving towards you at at lightning speed. The Six of Swords is lightning speed. I mean, Swords is the fastest um, suit, super quick, right? Six days, five days. I mean, this person is moving super quick right now. Um, and so they're moving away from things mentally as well, which are, which is also causing them to sit more in their heart and to know more about what is in their own heart. Right. And, um, I also feel like you saying something and doing something, telling them something will really, I am hearing it will speed things along. And I'm also hearing that it will make this person like they, they will, they, you'll see a side of them you never knew existed right? And it's a good side of them. Justice is showing up here. It's a good side. It's a side that you may have felt like, oh, it, it, you're not going to wonder about them anymore. If you tell them what this is, you're not going to wonder about it anymore. You're not going to wonder about how they feel about you. And you're going to know that this person really does love you. Okay. But the intuition card, you're going to know this person really does love you so, so much. All right, Pisces. God bless you guys. Um, that would be a really great time to comment. All right. Make sure you like this video as well. All right. Um, because all the videos that are coming out now in the future for the month of December are all going to be based off the likes. So whoever has the most likes, they get the most, they get their videos first. Right. And like, listen, I get overwhelmed sometimes and then I just can't do certain readings. So it's better that you're early on the list. I don't know what to tell you, but it's true. Sorry. Um, so go ahead and like the video. Don't be stupid. A lot of you guys come and watch the video and then you just like, don't even like it. And it's really dumb to me, but I feel like, I mean, maybe some people, they don't really, I don't know. I don't know what you're thinking when you're clicking on spiritual videos. That's weird. This is a cult, right? You don't want to be like all up on random different occultist pages and then be wondering why you feel so fragmented, you know, like, these are occult practitioners, most of them. So be, be very careful, not in the sense that you need to be wary or scared, but be like in your authority when you click on a reading so that you know that this is a message for you. And this is a message from the universe, you guys, all right? So Pisces, God bless you guys. My information's in the description bar down below. You wanna connect with me further, description bar, description bar down below. I look forward to working with you guys. I look forward to hearing from you guys next time. And we'll talk next time. Bye-bye.